Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I'm taking a look at the Mojave Video Editor Plus. So earlier this, this year, they reached out to me and asked if I'd be interested in making a video on their product. So I tested it out and I thought this would be a great one uh, to show because it was very easy to use and yet you could still create some professional looking uh, video. So now they've done a redesign. They've reached out to the users and then with their specialists, they've been uh, redesigning their program and they have a kind of a new look and some other new features. So I want to go over those with you today, those uh, new features that they've added to it. And just so you know that this is a sponsored video to be completely transparent, but I think these features that they've added are very good and just enhance the, the product overall. So I'll put the links down below to where you can download this for free for a free trial for seven days. And I'll put a discount code beside it if you're interested in purchasing it. I'll also put the link to my first video that goes through more of a tutorial showing you all the features that this can do. But let's get started with these new updated features with Mojave Video Editor Plus. So the first thing I wanted to mention that the Mojave Video Editor Plus did was a redesign. So they reached out to their users and then they just started getting information to see what they would like. So if you have used this before, it does look different. You're going to be able to jump in and easily create uh, right away with it. But it has a little bit of a slicker, more professional look to it now. Uh, you can see it's very easy to navigate. Everything is just going to be down the icons right down the side. So as I click through, you can see from where we import it to our uh, filters, transitions, titles, uh, stickers, and then we have all our tools right here that we can quickly access. And any of these ones, I can just drag them down and start working, which I'll show you some of the features uh, in a moment here when I just show some of the new ones that they have added. So the most important update I think they made is they added a media bin. To this. So before this, you'd have to just drag your files in one at a time. It worked, but uh, you'd have to go back and get your video from your, uh, maybe your whatever your folder on your computer, but now you can bring them all in at once into the media bin. So if I import to the files here, I can go grab, and I'll grab a bunch just to show you. I can bring them in, and now you can see they're in the media bin. And before, they didn't have this media bin. And at this point, you can drag down and start your into your timeline and start editing with your uh, different things from your audio to your video to your pictures to uh, cr start creating on it. So definitely a very important update. Another important upgrade that they did was the uh, frame by frame on the timeline preview. So now you can go through and if you want, if you're on a certain video and you want to try to find a certain frame maybe to cut out, you can drag, you can see as I drag through this, you can go very slowly in the preview and get to the exact one that you want. So it will make your editing more exact and create better uh, looking videos when you're done. One of the things I liked about Mojave Video Editor Plus is how easy transitions and filters uh, were to add and they had a good amount that comes with it. And you can see now they even have some new ones. So if you check out uh, the filters, uh, if I go through and I'll just click on a few examples, you can see where they're marked with new and you just simply drag uh, the filters onto, uh, onto the clip and the filter will be added very, very quickly like that. So you can see they have some new ones ones here and if I go over uh, to my transitions here you could uh, there's a bunch of new ones and you can just drag them in between the clips and you're gonna have these transitions that go through like this and you can quickly adjust them if you're ever looking for more uh, transitions and filters what you can do is there's the store here you can just click on it and it will bring you to, over to the store it will open up and you can actually download packs there too uh, so definitely something to check in if you're looking uh, just for uh, more professional looking things they have a lot of uh, different ones you can try out there so if you're a Mojave Video Editor Plus, you already have it and you haven't uh, noticed that these new updates are there, take a look at updating it. Uh, I'll put the link down below where you can download a free version of this. You do get seven days to, to try it out and also put a discount link uh, down there below too. So I hope you like these uh, tips that I gave you today with the Mojave Video Editor Plus. Uh, thanks for watching this time on Teachers Tech and I'll see you next time with some more tech tips and tutorials.